So uh, I would like to start initially by describing what we do and where we are in the electronic industry. So this picture shows uh, how, how you make a ship or a display in short, in very short. Uh, but when there is an idea for a new innovation, uh, when a new design is created, that design consists of a number of patent layers. And those patent layers are written by a mask writer. And here on the picture on the to top to the far left, you could see our mask writers that are laser based. Uh, the one on the green track is our precision system that do uh, photo mask for displays. And uh, the lower one is our SLX for the semiconductor industry. So when the photo mask, uh, when the, the pattern is printed and processed, at the end, we have an end result, which is a set of photo masks. This is the business of our customers, the mask shops. When the mask shop is ready with the set of photo mask, they send it to the manufacturer of the ship or the display panel. And the manufacturer, they duplicate the pattern on the photo mask on a substrate, or in the case of semiconductors, on a wafer. And that is repeated until all layers are duplicated, and then the wafer or the, um, the panels are split and it goes into all the different devices that we use, all of us, every day. Uh, the mask shops, our customers, they could be either in-house, in the manufacturer that do the components or the displays, or they could be merchants, so their business is only to do the photo mask and send it to an external manufacturer. Uh, this slide shows uh, some, some data on how it is to, to do a photo mask. Actually, this lithography process that is used is highly cost efficient. Writing a photo mask takes actually quite long time. It could, for writing a photo mask for the display industry, it could take days. For the semiconductor industry, it could take hours. But when, when the, the pattern that is printed is also very complex and the data volumes are really, really large. But once they are printed, when everything is in place, you have the infrastructure, then you have a very efficient and fast duplication and, and copying process. So uh, all the, the infrastructure has been in place for decades and have been fine tuning and the photo mask that you print can be used over and over again and are not worn out. So this is an extremely efficient way of producing electronics. And it's quite remarkable when you look at the mask writers. It's only 60 mask writers that supports the entire display industry, which is around 150 billion US dollar. And if we look at the writers for the semiconductor industry, it's about 400. And out of those, about half is laser based. And they are supporting an industry that is 560 billion US dollar. So quite few mask writers supporting very large industries. So this is truly the link between the design and the mass production. It's also a very truly strategic product. And to get more into the details about the market and the product, I would like to hand over to Michael. Ah, no, before no. I do that, sorry. <laughs> I, just a few numbers about the patent generator, our division. So we, in 2021, we had 1.6 billion revenue. Uh, a large portion of that, more than 30%, comes from our aftermarket business. We are 300 persons. Uh, we are supported by a number of consultants as well. Our customers are the mask shops that could be either captive or merchant. And we have our headquarters here in Sweden, but we have our customers far away. So Japan, South Korea, 
China, US, um, and we also have an agent in Taiwan. No, Michael. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Charlotte. Um, so the PD division has for more than 25 years uh, gained a very deep industry knowledge within both semicon and display applications. And over the years, we have built up a very unique uh, portfolio of, of both competence and technology supporting the laser mask writer uh, manufacturing. And this has always been done in very close collaboration with our customers and our industry partners where we're working together to make sure that our products meet their very challenging requirements. And over the years, we have developed a platform with extreme stability, which is required for display application because as Charlotte said, it, it takes days to write a photo mask for, for displays. And during that time, not a single error can happen because then you need to scrap the photo mask and restart again. So it is, stability is really critical. And, and we, we, this is only one example where we have a unique competence, but we also have competence within other areas like this optical designs and also managing the large patterns and how to process and compensate them. And also, we have a unique competence how to handle the large photo mass because they can be almost up to two meters. How to handle them without making small damages to them and also keep them clean. So that's is, is unique competence that we, we have within the, within the PD divisions. And our people and, and their competence is really important for us because we are really reliant on them in order to continue to innovate and then develop new product for, uh, products for our customers. And, and it takes a long time to, to learn the industry and it's a limited community. So, so our employees is really important for us and to keep them. And we have a strategy to, to build up a local presence very close to our customers in order to support them well. And that has been proven to be a very appreciated uh, and also successful strategy, especially the last year when it has been very difficult to travel across the world. So having people that know our system and can support them locally have been really important. So as both Charlotte and Anders told you, we, we have products supporting both semicon and display applications. So, so let's start talking a little bit more about the display market. And here we see several long-term lasting trends that are positive for the photo mask market. First, we see uh, good development also continue to develop for small high resolution displays where they come with new form factors. We also start seeing flexible displays in mobile phones. I think maybe I've seen the Samsung displays where they um, marketize uh, mobile phones and where it is flippable and foldable. And also we see positive development for uh, larger displays like IT and TV displays where we see a larger share of OLED displays going forward. And also we see displays in new applications and, and more and more devices get a high quality display as their main interface which we interact with, which is nice. And all these positive trends uh, spills over to, to a good photo mask market since more advanced displays r means that there will be more photo mask layers in order to manufacture them. And in combination to that, OLED also requires more advanced photo masks. So it's not only more layers, it's also more advanced photo masks. And of course, differentiation drives number of design, and that will also drive the, the volume market. So I think that this, uh, of course, spills, spills over to a positive uh, market forecast for, for the display market. And we see positive long-term growth, both uh, regarding area and uh, market value. And today, around one-third of the photo mask area is related to OLED displays and around 45% of the value. That will continue to grow, uh, a little bit slower, 22 to 23, but after 23, it will start growing faster again related to the OLED displays for, for TV and IT applications. Uh, so regarding our, our strategy for our products within display, our, our strategy is to really enable the display market. And we offer a full portfolio of mask writers for, for displays, all ranging from the most advanced system, which we call Precision 800, which is used for the most 
uh, critical photo mass down to the precision light series, which is more used for commodities, the commodity segment. And uh, combined with that, we have an attractive trade-in offering that support uh, generation shift for our customers and their modernization needs. Uh, and we also have a precision MMS, which is an XY or position metrology tool for the photo mass, which we over offer our customers. And for the display segment, we have a clear incremental development strategy, which means that we, when we get new customer requirements, we identify which kind of subsystem we need to improve, modify, or redesign, and then we do that. So by doing that, we can secure that we always meet our customer needs, but at the same time keep the platform stable and even improve the stability over time. So that's typically how we work. And we have a long-term roadmap in place, which we developed together with our customers and uh, our industry partners to secure that we always have solutions uh, in the market when, when then customer needs them. And we also actively invest in, in uh, the installed base and, and uh, offer new uh, functions also for the already installed mask writers. Uh, so if we go to the semiconductor market, it, it's a little bit the same story as the display. We see a number of long-term persistent trends that would support the market. Of course, it goes up and down, but, but long-term we, we see this will be a growing market. Uh, of course, electrification of everything. Uh, cars is just an example. Uh, there is a continuously need for doing more calculations, AI big data, cloud computation, uh, edge computing, and also there is a strong growth within communication and 5G, which is really the backbone of, of the dig our digitalization journey. And as you can see on the right graph here, the growth happen across the different semiconductor production nodes. It's not only leading edge that's, that's growing, but also mature segment is, is growing. Growing and also you could see in the right figure there that the laser writers is really the workhorse for the more mature production nodes. But you could also see that a relatively large share of the leading edge uh, production is also using the laser mask writers or using some steps of laser mask writing. Uh, so, so today um, uh, the majority of the photo masks produced in the world are done by lasers. So we, we used to say it's around 70% of all the semiconductor photo masks are done by laser today. So, so the laser writers are really an important part of the supply chain and, and is really the preferred way of doing production if, uh, if you can from a capability perspective because they are more cost efficient than the e-beam writers. Um, and if we're looking, <clears throat> sorry, if we're looking into the uh, market data, we also see a positive trends here, and then this is really in, in a strong growth period. And this one is mainly related to the leading edge and the EUV uh, development, but we also see part of this growth coming from the more mature segments. And the drivers of this growth is investment in China but also a big investment by, by the leading edge uh, uh, semiconductor players like Intel, TSMC, Samsung, etc. Um, but also going forward, the large volume of, of the photo mask will be written by laser. Uh, and if we go over to our strategy for, for this segment, the, the, our strategy is to be the industry leader for the laser mask writers. And we offer several different uh, models of our SLX and also have a very rich list of configuration just to secure that our customer can really select the configuration that is cost efficient for them. And uh, all comes with a uh, solid state laser, which is this new laser technology, which is much more environmental friendly compared to the old lasers that the majority of the installed base has today. Uh, and when we're talking to the customer lately, I think this comes up and as a more and more important for them also to, to secure that their production is environmental friendly, is to connect to Christina's talk earlier here on sustainability. Uh, and for the SLEX, we see a really good momentum in the business. It's driven by capacity, uh, expansion, strategic invest investment, but also replacing these old writers, with, which is typically quite old now because many the large portion of the investments in, in laser writing happened actually 
25, 30 years ago. So, so there's a lot of old writers there that needs to be, be uh, modernized or replaced. And here, our strategy is really to capitalize uh, with the synergies we see with the display segment, both from a technical perspective, but, but also from an organization perspective, and thus creating a very cost-efficient business and then securing that we have a long-term commitment to, to our customers. And we will continue to develop this platform uh, going forward, and we also explore if we can find uh, additional business opportunities based on this new platform that we developed. Uh, so by that, I hand over to Charlotte, talking a little bit more about the aftermarket business and maybe showing a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, first of all, before doing that, I would like to uh, uh, present SLX. This is a film that we made when we launched it just a few years ago. Ah. Hmm, right. Since the dawn of man, humans have been in perpetual motion, developing, growing, and progressing. They've learned how to be faster, more efficient, and perform better and better still, creating technologies that improve how we move, how we communicate, and how we live. And this is only the beginning. Just as people do, Micronics SLX is constantly moving forward. This is a next generation of mask writers for the semiconductor industry. With a new platform that allows for future updates, extensions and support, the SLX can serve the needs of our customers today, tomorrow and for years to come. By providing a modern, efficient platform at a low cost of ownership, we're able to meet the ever-increasing demand in the semiconductor industry and help drive evolution once more. We ship right from our factory in Stockholm, Sweden, with local teams around the globe ready to install and support. Faster, more efficient and forever better, we're ready for the next step. We are born to run. So a few words about uh, the aftermarket. As I said, it's a very important part of our business. It's more than 30% of our revenue. It consists of mainly of recurring service contracts that are all inclusive. It's, so it's a very robust and stable base that we have. Uh, it's uh, provided by our global service, uh, our global organization. Um, very many engineers close to the customers. High skilled experienced uh, engineers. Uh, we also have attractive trading offerings to help our customers through generation shift, making sure that they have a modern installed base that can benefit of all the new development going on in the industry. Uh, we also provide value adding products. So we add functions and services products to the installed base. And since we know and what also Christina said, a lot of our environmental impact is related to product in use. So we try to focus to get future proof technology and offerings that are sustainable, helping our customers in their journey towards a more climate friendly uh, operation. The solid state laser uh, is one step. We also explore digital solutions to reduce traveling and improve performance for our customers. So to summarize our direction going forward, so for the semiconductor, in, for, for the display industry, we really strive to be an enabler of the electronic industry, making sure that the incremental development that Michael is talking about is well in line with the industry and that we work closely with other uh, peers in the supply chain and that we have a lot of te technology developed, ready to be used when, when they need it, so that is, the technology is at hand. The trading program is also really important. Uh, they support our customers, and they also is important for us to make sure that we can serve our customers in the best way.
In the semiconductor industry, we aim to be a leading mask light, <coughs> provider of laser-based mask writers. And here we have the SLX platform, and it has been a great success for us. It has uh, exceeded our expectations. And we will continue to aggressively continue to invest in that platform and look into new opportunities. And we also want to keep our technology leadership also for semiconductor packaging, where they also use mask writers. And as I said, aftermarket, super important for us. It's a robust growing business. And here we deliver and strive to deliver excellent uh, customer experience. We want to be a long-term partner. We want to provide them with solutions that they can stay, live with for a long time and that can help them in their sustainability work. So our ambition is to be the number one mask writer company in the segments where we want to operate and where we are present. Thank you very much.